It's always cause for celebration when we have a brand new case of singles to unbox and this is a very, very special one. We have three new releases, like entirely new cars and then some highly anticipated re-releases such as none other than Rich Mixon and even some classics like Lizzie. So without any further ado, we're going to dive right on in. I got this from Carlot Sales. Check out his eBay store in the description below. He has all the KC stuff listed, and he's the only one who has KC stuff listed right now. So if you want the stuff inside this box, he's your guy. Let's get ahead with it. 95C, that's going to be on all of the singles cases this year. Next year, it will be 95D. And so E is what actually identifies what's inside the box. And I'll list the full contact list in the description below. Obviously, these are made in Thailand and they contain 24 pieces. To put this into perspective a little bit, last year around this time, we were on case like B and C and they all kind of came at once. Like A, B and C all came within a few week period and they all had very similar contents, which was not great, but at least they finally got out because they really should have been out four months earlier, but that's neither here nor there. And so the thing... Here we are a year later and we're already on case E, which last year they didn't get to case E until Easter. I was the first one actually to find 2022 case E and I found it, I think, the day after Easter, which was mid-April. So, cool stuff. Let's see here. Do we need to flip the bad boy around to start with the boring stuff? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I saw a couple McQueens up there, so... We might have to pull those out as well, but there are some new releases on that bottom rack. Let's start here in the top left corner. Now, this is going to cause a lot of turmoil and discourse in the community. You're going to see this and think, wait, wait what? Why does the package look different? Why is the bottom half completely solid red now instead of having the white box behind the car for the blister and to answer that question I don't know no one really knows why they switched the packaging style a third or a quarter of the way through the year and some of them have it some of them don't and what's even weirder is that some of the old ones like Mater here got converted and then some of the new ones still have the old look so it's really inexplicable. Some people are theorizing that the ones like the new cars that you'll see in this case, like Lizzie, I think is one of them. She'll still have the white box. And yet this is her first appearance in 2023 and even 2022 packaging. So why didn't she get the new packaging if she's new? Well, maybe she was going to be in case A, which was canceled. So yeah, a lot of people are speculating about that stuff. I really don't care. I am happy that they changed the packaging style. It's going to cause some confusion though. It's going to create a lot more variance. Like here is, of course, Mater with the working tow hook. You can see that is the working one right there. And a couple cases ago, they released this for the first time this year on you know the old style. So I'm just happy that they changed it up a little bit. I think it looks really nice. And I just kind of wish that it was a more smooth transition because this is a jolt. And like I said, a lot of people are going to be confused, but you just got to roll with it. You know, no one can explain it unless Mattel comes out and tells us why they did this and why they did it the way they did. I think we should just focus on what's inside the packages and let's move on. All right. So yeah, this is Mater with the working tow hook. As you can see there, that is the bigger hook that allows him to tow Almost all Lightning McQueens that have been made over the last year and even Otis. So really nice that they're doing him now as a single. On the back here, you can see some other Cars 1 2023 releases. Sally, Purple Ramon, Sarge, Fillmore, The King, Lightning McQueen, and Fabulous Dirt Track, Fabulous Hudson Hornet. That is such a cool card back because it shows some of the most classic characters in the entire franchise. Like if you had Mater on here as well, which... I mean, you do almost like that's your kind of core cast in Cars 1 and they have a strong presence, obviously, throughout the entire franchise, even though, you know, some of these don't appear as much later on, but they are very iconic for sure. So there you have Mater, Toe Mater, 
towing and salvage. Here we have Chai Saki, who's just a carryover from last year, so nothing special here. She's been in a lot of cases, so I can't say that I'm excited to see her. Would have been nice to get Mater with Balloon back this year. That is one of the few 2022 singles I never found in the store, along with Finish Line Lady McQueen and Race Damage the King. There might be another one in there too, but I never found those three at a store. Otis, Artist Ramon, Lewis Hamilton, Sarge, Sheriff, and Francesco accompany Chisaki. All right. Here we have the newly named Rusty's Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. So when she was first released last year, they called her Racing Center Cruz Ramirez. But the last time she was released, so the time before this, which was like the last case, I think it was, she was renamed to Rusty's Dynaco Cruise. So yeah, I was unboxing that case and I just didn't notice that they changed the name until after I was done you know, filming and then I was like, oh yeah, they changed it. I think I posted it to my Instagram. It's a weird change. Doesn't make any sense at all because you guys see any red? You guys see any Rusty's on there? Uh, no, I don't see any Rusty's on there. So why are they calling her Rusty's Dynaco Cruise Ramirez. They can't just call her Dynaco Cruise because they already did a Dynaco Cruise. That would be a different paint job. So I don't know. Racing Center Cruise would be fine. Wedding Cruise would be fine. Road Trip Cruise would be fine. Vacation Cruise would be fine. But they choose one that just makes no sense. I don't know. On the back here, we have the same cast of characters that were included in the first case she was ever released in last year, the case L. So you have Royce Rebsley, Griswold, Speed Demon, and K Pillar Jarev along with Road Trip McQueen there. I think we'll see K Pillar in this case right now, in fact. Oh wait, no. No, that's right. Oh wow, this is a good little bunch here. We have May Pillar Jarev, in fact, K's partner at the Circus of Lasita, so really exciting. This is a brand new release for 2023, obviously a new character as well, new mold, everything. This likely is an Alfa Romeo Duetto Spider, I think, or maybe it's just a spider. I'm not sure if it's Duetto or not, but yeah, I reviewed her. I was fortunate enough to get her early a couple weeks ago and reviewed her, so I'll leave that link in the description below along with the reviews of those two folks. Cave Lightning McQueen and Lightning McQueen Deputy Hazard. You even have Doug Crankle up there. So it's awesome. This is why I claim this case to be the true start of the intensity that I know 2023 is going to bring. The next case, Case F, is going to be even wilder. And you can see here on the back, you have Cryptid Buster Mater with all of the proper accessories that look great. So it's really nice that they're doing him correctly and Hopefully, he'll be released soon as well. But yeah, and I'm happy that they did two of May in this case because obviously the new releases are going to be far more popular than, for example, Cruz or whoever. So to include two of her is definitely the smart call. Here we have brand new for the 2022-2023 mainline, the Red Rider Saga, as I like to call it, Jeff Gorvet. Now, he has been released from Thailand before. So there's nothing new on that front, but this is a new packaging variant. And on the back, you can see Suki and Raul Sarul. <laughs> what an iconic trio, am I right? Yeah, no. <laughs> they could have definitely put some more characters on there, but three works. I love the bright yellow on this guy. He's a pretty nice Thailand variant, you know? They really spruced him up, made him look very lively. But yeah, it's always good to see Jeff back in the mix. Somebody who tends to sell pretty well based on real life Jeff Gordon. So good to see him. You'll probably be seeing him in the thumbnail, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Look at that, guys. I'm only slightly upset that there are two Lightning McQueens in this case because he's on the new packaging. So yeah, these cars are dusty today, but... Yeah, this is just your regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen that we've seen countless times over the last couple years on this packaging, but now it's all red. So yes, this is the first appearance of this McQueen 
on this style packaging and wow, look there's that same cast of characters i was talking about before so yeah he falls into the camp with mater where it's one that they've done before on the old packaging and now they're converting him over who knows why do you think by the end of the year they'll all be like this or will there still be some whites in the mix who knows? It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Like, I'm just wondering if by the time we get to like case M, will they've all been converted over or will there still be like a couple whites in there? Yeah, I don't know. Next year, will they certainly all be like this or will they change the packaging style altogether? Oh, so many questions that need answering. Well, looky here. Actually, that's not who I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys these two. Oh, I just hit the camera. Got too excited about it. I don't know what I'm getting excited about, but yeah, it's because these were in case L along with that Racing Center Cruiser Ramirez when she was first released. So I wanted to identify they're a good group of friends, although they kicked Griswold out of the clan. So Griswold, we haven't seen him in a long time. He was only in case L and yet Royce here and K have been in multiple cases since then. So yeah, all of them debuted the same time in that 2022 case L. So they all have that same card back as well. Royce has gotten a lot of love. You know, he was in the accessory two pack. He's in the Salt Fever 9 pack and released as a single a bunch. It's a nice car. Not sure if he deserves that much attention though. So is K. K was also in a two pack with Mater and has been in a lot of cases. I don't think K is as nice as Royce because it's just a repaint of Sterling. Same expression, which is the true problem. Like if. K didn't have the same expression as Sterling. I think she would be okay in my book. Here we have Sarge. This is so wild to me because, all right, last year when they did Sarge, she had a different artwork. They used a different pose for Sarge. Then this year, they started using this pose. And then now we have the new pose, but on the new packaging as well. So three card variants, three packaging variants for the exact same die cast. Wow. If you're like a completist, as they call it, and you get everything and you don't buy the cases like I do, you're gonna have a fun time collecting all these different packaging variations. It feels like <laughs> Kang Dynasty up in here. But yeah, look at that. We have the same group of characters again. Love to see them. I think this looks nice again. I'm not dogging on it. Like, I'm not hating on the new packagings. Again, I just think it's such an odd way to do it. And, you know, we're going to talk about it here again with Mr. Fillmore. I think it looks really good here. Man, these are dusty. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks good. It's a change of pace. It's refreshing. Probably was super easy for Mattel to design. I mean, it's like, oh. Why don't we just fill in that white box there? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is new. Nice. <laughs> what in the world? That looks so weird to me. Does it not? It looks like there's a ghost right there. What in the heck? That is wild to me, guys. Look at that. They totally should have put, like, Sarge or somebody right there. <laughs> I am absolutely bamboozled about that. That is mind-blowing to me. Yeah, I mean, look, here, here's another example. Yeah, Sarge should have definitely been right there. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm getting a real kick out of that because it just looks so unnatural and awkward. They never leave a space that big. Hmm. Wonder how that came to be. Anywho, diving back into the case. Oh, yeah, this is exciting here. You have two of Strip Weathers, the Kings. I know we were talking about this in my case reveal of case E. I was saying how, you know, it's rare. I'm not sure it's even really ever happened and definitely not lately that you get two of the king in one case. You know, this is a licensed model based on Richard Petty, extremely iconic and well loved. So to have two of them in the case is great. And obviously, do I have to say it again? on the new packaging so it looks like they're just <laughs> we have the ghost again i don't know why they're just omitting 
cars from the back of the packages now. Yeah, they said, yeah, <laughs> Ramon, goodbye. <laughs> You're not on the back of the packages anymore. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that, but it looks like they're converting all of the packages for this bundle of characters. We had Mater, Sally McQueen, Fillmore, Sarge, the King now. So the only one that we need on new packaging would be Doc and then I guess Ramon as well. Cool. And here is the other one, which should be the same. Yep. Getting a weird glare today. These packages are just not cooperating. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on a minty card, too. I am grateful for that. We have the first release of Rich Mixon in the Red Rider Saga. And I just noticed something, guys, that might make me have to review this guy. This is a new Thailand variant. That's right. He was released from Thailand in 2018. But this is different from that. He was also released from Vietnam a couple years ago in a multi-pack as well. Obviously, this is different from that. He was released from China back in 2018. This is way different from that because now he is partly metallic. Look at this, guys. Look at those eyelids. Holy cow. This is going to get people hyped. Look at that spoiler. A metallic spoiler. Why did they do that? I don't know. Do the eyelids match the rest of the body? Not really, but does it look awesome? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I am very happy with how he looks. He looks clean. The decals look pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to have to review this guy probably, but yeah, I'm just mesmerized by that spoiler. It looks so much better in person, guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this in person and truly appreciate the metallic on him in those two areas. The eyelids and the spoiler. Very cool. And obviously just good to see the character back. You know, he's one of the most popular next gens ever released. Oh, I guess it wasn't Minty. I spoke too soon. Oh, well. On the back here, you have Jet Robinson, Rich himself, Pushover, Muddy Rusty's Racing Star, Lane McQueen, Fabulous Dirt Track Doc Hudson, Leroy Hemming, and a Fair Game, a very... Nice collectic of characters. Fair Game was in the last case. And again, kind of like Rich Mixon are some of the rarer and more popular Cars 2 characters. Jet Robinson and Leroy are not, but they've been out now. Pushover and Muddy Rusty's Racing Sarah McQueen. Those two have not been released yet. So I would assume that they would be soon. Definitely something to look forward to. I like Pushover. This Muddy Rusty's Racing Sarah McQueen has gotten too much attention for such an obscure variant to be released in 2020, 2021, and a 2021 five pack. Too much. If this ends up getting canceled, whew, I'm okay with that. All right. And we have another next gen, man. It must suck to follow up Rich Mixon. Who can possibly follow up with Rich Mixon's performance there? Definitely not Noah Gocek. I'm sorry, my guy. The Clutch A Next Gen. You're cool, but you just don't have that it factor that Rich does. Now, I should probably address, you know, I've been saying this is great. We're already on case E. It's only March. I mean, I'm recording this on February 28th. But Target has yet to get in a single 2023 case. So is it really like, are we really doing that much better than last year? Sure, Walmart's got it in B, C, and now D. So they're pretty much caught up. Disney World, they have these cases. They're up to par. Australia, I say that, you know, all the stores collectively, they're through case D now too. Target, what are you doing, man? It's so funny how stores vacillate between, you know, Walmart somehow like sometimes really good for a couple, you know, years or so, then Target's really good and Target had been, you know, over the last year, the place to go if you want these singles. Now, it looks like the ball has shifted over to Walmart because like I just said, we're 3 2 months through the year, we're 5 cases through the year and Target hasn't gotten a single one in. That's atrocious. That is laughable. I don't know what's going on and hopefully they get it figured out. But I mentioned that because even though Walmart's gone in each case so far, 
excluding this one. This one hasn't been found anywhere at retail yet. They only get the 12 count cases, right? You guys know that. And so that excludes a lot of the participants in these cases, such as Noah Gochak here. You know, he was in B, but not the Walmart version of B. So Noah Gochak practically doesn't exist in terms of, you know, retail releases right now. He's not been technically released because he's not in the version of case B that Walmart orders. So I don't know, just something to put out there. Hopefully they get that figured out soon. <laughs> Here we have a road trip Lightning McQueen, but not the new variants of him. This is the original one that came out last August. So yeah, I warned you guys about this, that they would be doing both variants of road trip McQueen concurrently. They'll you know do the new version that came out in case C. They'll do that again in case D. And then, oh, we're gonna flip back to the original. Eh, I don't really care, you know? <laughs> But it is a little odd, though. I do find it to be a little odd. And to have two of these, along with the two cars, one the Queens, I'm not sure I agree with that decision. But, hey, no one's asking my opinion. All right. All of these should be really good. You know what? We're going to wait on him. We're going to get this one out of the way first. We have Tailgate here. Tailgate debuted in case B, which is the first case of the year because case A was canceled. Not a bad release, you know, it was her first time in the Red Rider saga, so that means 2022 and 2023, but not the first time being released from Thailand. I like the art though, it looks good. And on the back, you could see some of the cars that we've taken a look at, you know, Rich Mixon, you have Fair Game, we've talked about all of them, a couple next gens in there. All right, and now this all is going to be brand new stuff for this case, a couple of which are on new packagings. You have Patty right here. Now, unfortunately, I would have rather this be like Mario Andretti's assistant Patty, and maybe they even intended to do it that way. It just feels so coincidental that he's here with like a different Patty. It's like, it feels weird. It's like, <laughs> it's like time traveler moves a chair, and then like all of a sudden, this is Mario Andretti's assistant. I know they're spelled differently, but I just find that so funny. Patty was released last year in a two-pack with Taco. Okay, so again, it's the classic trend of, okay, yeah, we released a two-pack last year. Let's split that up and just spit it back out, right? They did that with Krusty Roder. They did that with Cruz and McQueen and Doc Hudson, and they'll probably do it again. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is a new package, obviously. First time that she's been released as a single since 2017 but definitely not the first time she's been released since then you know she was in a five pack then the two pack and all that stuff on the back you have noah gocheck jack robinson duke colters ryan inside laney jackson storm tim treadless and randy lawson wow those are all racers they're all piston cop racers wow that's actually kind of cool like these are the old ones and these are the new ones that's actually kind of a interesting probably coincidental arrangement of them there but yeah all right patty i'll take you mario andretti is back and oh that looks a little different to me the roof looks way more gold than it had in the past even though he's been released from thailand before but he does look a little different that looks way shinier to me man these are so dusty Oh, this one's got a dent in the blister too. Wonderful. So yeah, he's on the new packaging as well. First time in the Red Rider saga. I remember though, this guy was released, you know, from Thailand in like 2019, 20, like late 2018. And he was all over the place. Now he is back on the packaging here. You have Greg Candyman. Very excited for him to come out. You have Fillmore, Lizzie, Purple Ramon, Krusty Roder, Luigi and Guido. And Lee Revkins. It's nice to see Lee on the back of a package. Haven't seen him there. And yes, Lee was in, I think, yeah, these two were in KC. And have not made another appearance since then. Good stuff. And here we have Lizzie. So again, this is a new release, but on the old packaging. 
By the way, the new packaging seems to not be affecting on the road stuff. They're just surging right along with the you know original packaging that was conceived last year. But yeah, here we have Lizzie. It's kind of weird. I don't know. The tire track covers up the tires. That just does not look natural to me. They never do that. At least not that I know of. I mean, you look at all these and the tires clear the tire track line there by a lot. But she's digging in. All right. But yeah, it's great to see Lizzie back in the mix. She's been released from Thailand before in early 2021. But this is a car that flies off the shelf. Like literally soars. Everyone wants a piece of her because she is that iconic, you know, a Model T and all that stuff. On the back there, you just have Greg Candyman and Sarge. Wow. <laughs> Must be lucky if you're Lizzie. Who <laughs> sandwiched in between two esteemed gentlemen like that. But yeah, everything looking good here again. Maybe she was planned for case A because she's on the old packaging, but she is new. Ugh, it's so weird. And then here is what you guys all came for. The two new McQueens in the case. Very iconic versions of him from Cars on the Road. You have from the B-Movie episode, Lightning McQueen, Deputy Hazard. Now, they put two Zs in the name, but on the actual die cast, the badge just has one Z. And I reviewed both of these a couple weeks ago. I was very lucky to get them early. And so obviously I already left those in the description and the card suggestions that you could click on to check those reviews out. They're very, very good. Cars, that is. <laughs> I think the reviews are good too, but yeah, I'm helped out by the fact that I have such great die cast to share with you guys. I mean, sometimes I think when I review something, I really have to try and elevate it and try and make it more exciting than it really has business being. But these, no, they did it all on their own. I mean, they're iconic, like I said. And when you think of cars on the road, you think of Rumbler, McQueen, and Mater. You think of Cave, McQueen, and Mater. And you think of President, Mater, and then Deputy McQueen, right? So we almost got all of those. At least we have almost all of them in some way, shape, or form, whether it be color changers, mini racers, McDonald's, <laughs> Tomica. Yeah, yeah, I think we have literally all of them in some way, shape, or form. Cave Mater is only at McDonald's, though. Oh, yeah, and Mini Racer. And, of course, Cave McQueen's also Mini Racer, Tomica. Oh, my gosh. Playset, Color Changer. They've done a lot of Cave McQueens. But, yeah, it's so awesome to see him back just as a die cast now, you know. A lot of people are hoping that he would have come out sooner, but... This is still pretty soon. I mean, Cars on the Road's not even like five months old yet. Almost, I think. Love that expression, and it really translates over well to the die cast. So yeah, it feels weird, you know? The fact that I already reviewed the three new cars from this case before the unboxing, it never usually goes like that. So yeah, again, check out those reviews. You won't see them again. Like, don't expect any more reviews after this. I'll probably review Rich Mixon at some point. I also kind of want to review the Finn McMissile Thailand variant from the last case, case D. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments section below which car from this case is your favorite. And what do you think about the new packages? I think they look good. Again, just confused on why like for why <laughs> i don't know at least it freshens things up a little bit yeah may pillar derives at the bottom of my stack she ain't coming out but rich mixon certainly will man i'm so happy with him i love the metallic accents on him he looks great and i will see you guys soon for another review i'm going to be unboxing two packs case q for 2023 in the next couple days so stay tuned for that and yeah, Rich Mixon, you are looking sexy today, my friend, in your metallic pink. Pink is not just for boys. I will see you guys next time. Bye now.